What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and with the WWE Draft coming up tomorrow night, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, because in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for the 2020 WWE Draft, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm curious, is because, for one, is because, for one, with when it comes to the draft, it's so unpredictable, there's really... No way to predict exactly who is going to get drafted to where. And second of all, we could all we could very may well see tag teams and factions split up as well. So I figure, you know what? Why not do a, pr a prediction video for the drafts? Normally, I would do these prediction videos for NXT TakeOver, for pay-per-views, and also for, for the ban list, but I figured, you know what, the draft, let's do it, so, um, so, be, actually, before we do that, before I, 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 before I get started, we actually have some breaking news here, and this was posted on WrestleTalk by Tempest, um, 17 hours ago, and apparently, and, and apparently, in the state of Florida, WWE is allowed to hold full capacity events in Florida, so, again, so, again, again, shout out to Tempest for, from Russell Talk for this article, and can I? I don't want to use the arrows, so can I? I guess not. I guess not. All right. The state of Florida has been both a hotbed for the pandemic and one of the most lax play places in North America when it comes to restrictions. Funny how that works. Now, now, Governor Ron DeSantis has has given the green light for sports teams to operate with crowds at full capacity. This now means WWE will be allowed to do the same. So John, so John Alba uh, sent out a tweet uh, saying that sent out a tweet yesterday. So, so sent, he sent out a tweet yesterday saying that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has given the Miami Dolphins full clearance to run with 65,000 fans at their stadium. If WrestleMania were to move to Raymond James Stadium, this would indicate WWE could po probably do the same. That doesn't mean it should, but it likely could. Um, the highly reputable Russell Votes Twitter account also chimed in with the news. They added that Vince McMahon has been holding out hope for a full capacity WrestleMania. Here is the tweet. Sent out a tweet saying the state of Florida will begin allowing full capacity attendance for stadium events. Vince Vince McMahon, Vince has been privately holding out hope for a full capacity WrestleMania. He gets his wish whether or not 65,000 fans show up is another question. It remains to be seen whether a WrestleMania in the pandemic will draw to max capacity. However, given that 400,000 people gather for the for the Sturgis motorcycle rally, rally and NFL teams are still able to draw upwards of 20,000 people in some markets. It shouldn't come as a surprise that WrestleMania is able to do, do to do the same. It should also be noted that with with AEW operating out of Daly's Place in Jacksonville, they would also be allowed to run shows at full capacity. They began allowing limited amounts of fans into shows in recent months, but it remains to be seen whether they will risk allowing shows to run at max capacity. So I'm so I'm gonna be honest here. Um, so let me look up what's going on in 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 the state of Florida because I believe that in in the state of Florida, I believe the cases have have gone down extensively, but in terms of deaths, I believe it's gone up a little bit. Um, Okay, well, I well I typed and apparently it stopped on me. So you so this laptop can go fuck itself, literally. Come on. Okay, well, okay, well, while while that's loading, let's actually talk about the let's talk about talk about talk about drafts because we all because we all know when it comes to to the WWE draft. Um, it's again. It is highly unpredictable. I remember the 2005 draft. I believe the first pick of the draft lottery for Raw ended up being the WWE champion at the time, John Cena. And then for SmackDown, 
the last pick of the lottery ended up being Batista, who became the world who who is the world champion. I also remember that um, in 2011, John Cena was drafted to SmackDown from Raw as the first pick, and then in the last pick that Raw got, they ended up gaining back John Cena, which is which was kind of funny. Um, but this year's draft, I got a feeling that, um, I, I have a feeling that, uh, this year's going to be a little different. So, okay, so we finally got it. So, so, so we finally got it. So apparently in the state of Florida, My God! Holy shit! Okay, so we, okay, so in the state of Florida, as of now, there have been there's now three thousand three hundred and six new confirmed cases with one hundred and seventy new deaths. Um, in terms of o overall, seven hundred twenty six thousand and thirteen with fifteen thousand two hundred fifty four. That's I'm I'm not honestly I'm not so sure if that's what if that's wise because because the thing is because in because in the state of Florida when was this so the max so so the highest amount of confirmed cases that they got in 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 the state of Florida was back in July July twelfth with fifteen thousand three hundred and over time it's gone down quite a bit it's gone down so it's there have been times where it's gone up it's gone down now as of now. Yeah, so as so as so again, so honestly, I don't know if it's wise. I don't know if it's wise for Florida for for WWE to do that, but I'm not saying anything all at all. Um I will I will say this though, if they do decide to do that, they should be careful because there's no telling what can happen. But so for so with that being said, let's act, again, let's go back into the draft. So from what I understand, and I ha and I actually spoke about this in one of my videos from this week or last week. I found out we found out that NXT could very well take part in the WWE draft, and if that is the case, then I say drafted to Raw. I would say I would say Rhea Ripley to Raw, be starting in the women's division. I would say Rhea Ripley Hmm Let's see Rhea Ripley Ooh, that's a hard one. Um Rhea Ripley, Raquel Gonzalez and I'll say uh, Chelsea Green. I'll say Chelsea Green to Raw because obviously, Ch obviously Chelsea Green. She's been pretty dominant. She she she's been pretty good. Although we have not seen Chelsea Green since Party Ways with the Robert Stone brand earlier earlier this year, I feel like I I feel like as if if she were if she were to get drafted to Raw, she could do so many good things. She can she can go up against women like Charlotte Flair. Hmm. Excuse me. She could go up against Asuka. She can even potentially go up against Mandy Rose as well. Uh, Rhea Ripley, 
there is no denying how good she is. So Rhea Ripley to Raw, it wouldn't be much of a surprise. Um, you know, and then also to um, you know, and I think uh, yeah, I think those three women to Raw because they can do so many good things on Raw. They've got they've got a lot of potential. They've got a lot of potential, and I think. I think yeah, I there's real again, there's really not much not much to not much to to say to say about them, honestly. Raquel Gonzalez is, is just super is just so powerful in, in the ring. Rhea Ripley is the exact same way. Chelsea Green is, is is more of a technical style wrestler and I think I think uh with their with their in ring styles on Raw, they can do they can Take Raw's women's division to heights to heights never seen before. In terms of the men, though, that's a hard one. But I think one 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 superstar that comes into mind, I would have to say the Velveteen Dream. And the reason why I say Velveteen Dream to Raw is because is because the Velveteen Dream has been has had this different ad has had this new attitude of his since coming back to to NXT. A little over a, a little over a couple months ago, and given the fact that he's a former North American champion, and he's competed in so in several takeovers within the, within the last couple of years, the last few years, is that right there is a testament to what that says about about the Velveteen Dream. He's got he's got he's got all all the tools. He's got the he's 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 got the skills, the charisma, the attitude. He's got it all, and that. Could very could that could take him far as a member of the Raw roster. Also, too, another person that would also benefit to go to Raw. <sighs> Excuse me. And I know that this might be crazy to say, but I would say, but I Bronson Reed. I want I I, I want to say Bronson Reed on Raw because think of. Think of think of the big men that he can go up against. He can go he can go up against Keith Lee. He can he can go up against Bobby Lashley, which would be a very interesting matchup. And also too with Raw Underground. Apparently, I've heard rumors that Raw Underground is being scrapped. It's being scrapped, taken off Raw completely. But if that is the case, I mean, we could see Bronson Reed against Braun Strowman. Who the hell knows? Um. And again, again, he's got all the tools. He's got all the tools, and he could do it. <sighs> and then also, if I and then if I were to have two more picks from NXT to Raw, I would have to say, hmm, I would have to say. Two picks. Um, I, I would have to say, Damian Priest, and Johnny Gargano. I, I, I would say Johnny Gargano, and the reason, and in my honest opinion, Johnny Gargano. There, there's a reason why he's known as Johnny Takeover is because, he. <sighs> Is because he's he's competed in well over twenty takeovers, well over twenty takeovers within within the last what five years? Five years, I think that he's been in NXT. Him having him on Raw, there's no telling the type the the kind of talent he could go up against. I mean, Cedric Alexander from the Herb Business, um, Apollo Cruz. Ricochet, uh, you know, obviously Mustafa Ali, who we found out on Raw this past Monday, is the leader of Re of Retribution, which was absurd. There's no telling. And then Damian Priest, I don't even need. To, I don't. I don't. I don't think I need to say anything about him. Damian Priest is just incredible. He is incredible in the ring. Extremely charismatic. He's got all. He's got all the tools. I could definitely see it. Um, as far as the tag team division goes, 
honestly, I really don't see any any tag teams going to Raw. I think the tag team division on, on Raw is just perfect. It's just fine the way it is. I mean, we have the Street Profits. We've got Murphy. Murphins. We got Rollins and Murphy. We got Dominic Mysterio and Humberto Carrillo. Um, and then also we and, then, and we actually found out as well that um, apparently the team of Andrade and Angel Garza is done. They're split because of Garza's injury. So, but as far as SmackDown to Raw, hands down, definitely Miz. I, I think I think I think the Miz has done so much for SmackDown in terms of of the tag team division. That by having him go go to Raw, John John Morrison would be able to truly flourish once again as a singles competitor, and I think that could really help him out a little bit. And then also too, um, I would have to say, uh, huh. I would also have to say Sheamus to Raw and. Bailey to Raw. I think Bailey over to Raw as well because Bailey. I I think I th I think her time's come. I think her time has come for her to drop for her to drop the title to to Sasha Banks and then have and then have Bailey go over over to Raw. I think I think her time her 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 time has come. Uh, now in terms of SmackDown, that that's a hard one. But I gotta say Mandy Rose back back to SmackDown, she still has a lot to do on SmackDown, and I think what Miz, I, I think what Miz and Morrison did, did to Otis, did, did to Otis, was just complete, was just utterly, was just, it, that was fucked up, because Miz and Morrison should, shouldn't have done that, but that's just my opinion anyway, um, I would say, I would say Andrade to Raw, to, to SmackDown, Charlotte Flair to SmackDown, and Mur and and also Murphy to SmackDown because if Murphy were to come were to go to SmackDown, the possibilities as to who he can face are absolutely incredible. I mean, he can go he can go up against against Roman Reigns, Big E, Sheamus, Matt Riddle, it, it, even, and if we're able to get and 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 if it, if it were if it were possible, I would say. Pete Dunne to SmackDown because, hello, Matt Riddle is on. Matt Riddle is on SmackDown, and that could, I mean, having 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 the Broser Wades on SmackDown. What could what could be better than that? What could be what could be better than that? Seriously, um, but uh, ooh, I, I, honestly, I think I think that's how I how I would see it. But on, honestly, though, I really don't see any any changes. To to the to you know to Raw SmackDown in terms of the draft, I think if there were if, if there were to be changes, I would say Sami Zayn to Raw, and then Bobby Lashley to SmackDown because Sami Zayn is the is the is the intercont is the Intercontinental Champion. Bobby Lashley is the United States Champion. Those two, if they were to get switched, if they were to, to switch brands, the Hurt Business would be done. The the Literally, the her business would be would be done, and there's no telling what could happen, you know, because because I'm I'm I mean, seriously, which is better? What what's better, Bobby Lashley as, as a heel or Bobby Lashley as a face, as a baby face? Because if he because if he goes to SmackDown, he'll 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 easily become a baby face easily. But if he were to stay on Raw, he'll 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 remain a heel, you know. But Again, I really don't see any and any changes to Raw or SmackDown. Um, I real, but although I don't think NXT will be a part of it, considering the fact that the talent there has been limited, ex ha has been extremely limited, and given and given the fact, given the fact that most of the NXT talent have been sent home until the un un until this whole pandemic blows over, like in in full, I think honestly. NXT might not be um might not uh might not might not honestly take part. I do know that Muscle Champa um 
had said in an in an in an interview that if he were to go to Raw or SmackDown, he would retire from professional wrestling because he said that he rather he rather get paid less money and work less time in one venue then travel to multiple venues and get paid m more more money because obviously you guys know he's had neck injuries, shoulder injuries, knee injuries and I can on and I can definitely and I can understand. I can understand why. So I wouldn't really pick Tommaso Ciampa, but um honestly though, again, again I really don't see much change happening to the draft, but obviously we know Again, as, again, I said it before. I'll say it again. The draft is always unpredictable. But if I had, but if there was like one person from Raw that I would want to see go to SmackDown, hands down, Randy Orton. Hands down, Randy Orton. Hand, are you doing? You no, 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 no. You want? No. I would say. Uh, oh. If there was one person from Raw that I would want to see go go to SmackDown, it would most likely be Ricochet, because Ricochet has has is is a former United States Champion. He's pretty much done what he's literally done. He's done on Raw. I think him on SmackDown could really help his career, and give him that extra boost that that he needs. But that's but guys, that's pretty much it for this prediction video. I know I, I know that I didn't make a whole lot of picks to you know you, you know you know switch brands, um, but those are just my picks in my in my honest opinion. What question of the day? What who do you think should get drafted to Raw and to SmackDown from NXT Raw? You know you guys know who should get drafted to Raw and SmackDown. Let me know in the comments below. Use the hashtag WWE Draft. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. And that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more news videos, prediction videos, and whatnot, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.